Yeah, I know you're probably alone on site since you have three roamers and when you die, blame them for the loss, but that's not always their fault. Anchoring on site is something a lot of players think they know, but in fact, it's far more advanced. In this one, I'll be giving you guys tips on how to play on site and how to hold down rushes or sneaky plays from crash walking ash. Before we go into the video, I'm looking forward to review your bots on my channel and give my tips to you. So if you want to be in the next one, check the link in the description. Now, what are the good ops to anchor on site? Smoke, Maestro, Ella, Mute. Go with a new change, but don't get me wrong. These ops are specifically good for holding site. You can play Muzzy and still hold down site with your pests, but not as good as Smoke. Okay, how you want to do it? So first tip, prep as fast as possible. So in first 30 seconds, you don't die making rotations or placing camps. Second tip is after prep phase, go to camps immediately to see where are the attackers pushing from. So you have a better understanding of which area you have to hold. In my opinion, most of us just forget that we have something called barricading. So do it. Barricade some entries so you have an easier job holding the other doorways or window jump-ins. Third tip to you guys is hold down the entries or there is a phrase which I say, play loose. How you should do it. So what does it mean holding entries or playing loose? Right now we have main stairs, dirt, blue stairs and oil pit as our entries to the side. So what you don't want to do is just go sit in a corner and hold the doorway or like somewhere, right? Instead, you want to place down your elements in the entries, blue, dirt, and also main stairs. And you want to play by one of them. For example, I want to play here. I do it most of the times. So I just go till here, top of main, and wait for them to drone, shoot the drone, fall back, and then I play bottom main. And I still have this element. This way, I stop anyone from rushing into side in the first 30 seconds or one minute. And let's say if the element in dirt deploys, we can go back to the side, we can call out and our teammates can come back to the side. Or let's say if they don't, if they don't listen to us, you still have that element inside maesters and loosers. So you don't have to worry about any other entries. You can hold down this um, door or dirt by yourself. This means holding entries or playing dudes. Fourth tip is you have to watch camps in round for your roamers or in general for anyone who's inside. So you don't get surprised by someone sneaking downstairs when all five players are alive and holding an angle. Now, I think one of the most important part of playing on side or anchoring is basically good positioning and knowing different angles. What does that mean? I'll show you. So what I mean is, imagine we're defending hookah and billiards and you hear some gunshots by aqua and you want to hold this pixel angle. What you want to do is not get distracted, forget about VIP angle. Because this happened to me before. I'm holding this pixel angle into aqua door, someone is outside in the balcony and then I just get shot in the back from VIP and I just realized, oh, the positioning I had was not really good. So instead you can like come closer to the bomb, hold this one and if this guy quick pick, quick picks you or something, you can just go back here. We'll quick pick this one, if nobody's here, quick pick 90 and then go back to side, hookah. And then you can hold down aqua, 90 and then you have your tree smokes. Because as an anchor or like a support player, you just don't want to die on site to these simple angles or simple mistakes, basically. And that's all the things I could cover for you guys. Hope you learned something new from this one. Make sure to like and subscribe. And I see you all in the next video.